Hey guys, today we're going to show you how you can make a chicken egg laying box. You heard me, for about a dollar and five minutes worth of your time. All you need is an old Tupperware container, a box cutter, a sharpie, and a piece of paper. Let's get to it. Okay guys, you'll probably notice behind me there's a couple stacks of lumber. This is recycled lumber that was generously given to us by a wonderful neighbor of ours. This guy, he builds airplanes, like World War I era from the ground up. And uh, when he has a lot of, well, he has a lot of extra wood and he often gives it to us. We burn scraps we can't use. If we can use it, we do for, for building animal houses, uh, raised gardening beds. And I have this big vision in my head to make these beautiful chicken boxes for our hens to lay their eggs, but we have an emergency situation going on here. Uh, we started our new flock just a short while back. We've got one hen sitting on a dozen eggs that are going to hatch in about another 10 days, we hope. Um, well, in the meantime, we have another hen who's become broody, and she's starting to just sit on the ground beside our existing uh, little chicken house where there's only one box. She wants to lay, she wants to sit, and we want her to sit, and we want these eggs to hatch. We're not going to count them yet, uh, but I saw that she's ready to go, and I don't have the time to make this beautiful vision of a chicken egg laying box in my head with, with a lot of this recycled lumber that our neighbor and friend gave us. So I need to make something quick and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Now, I'm just using an old Tupperware container. We get these at the Goodwill for 99 cents each. Sometimes they'll have several different sizes taped up, but there's nothing special about it. You probably have one laying around in your garage or your storage space or your house somewhere you can use. You can get these at yard sales a lot of times people will be selling items in these things and, and you just say hey i want to buy your thing you take a dollar for it or whatever but they're easy to come across okay now all we're going to be doing is cutting a door in here lining it with hay and making it secure so that the, the the hen can get in there and feel safe and lay one of the biggest mistakes people make when they create any sort of egg laying box for their hens is that they make the, the the door too big that hen needs to feel safe. She needs to feel as if she's the only one that can get in there. She needs to know the raccoons, the possums, and the bears aren't coming in after her. Well, as it turns out, about the perfect size for a hen door on a lane box is about three-fourths the width of a typical eight and a half by 11 inch piece of printing paper. So what you do is you take your paper, fold it in half, okay, widthwise, and then fold it a half again widthwise so that what was once widthwise now becomes lengthwise, okay? And this is it. And what this does is this breaks this paper up into fourths. So you take it now and you just fold one of the fourths over and there's three fourths. It's about the perfect size for an opening for a, a hen egg laying box. Now, from here, I'm just going to trace this Here's the bottom of my Tupperware container. I'm gonna make sure that the door is a few inches above the bottom. I don't want it level because then moisture and whatnot can get in there. I want it slightly up above so that she gets to have that safe feeling of stepping over and into her home and that will help keep excessive moisture out. Now here's where my Sharpie comes in. You can use a pencil, whatever, you know. Keep it simple, stupid. That's an acronym we have here, K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. So we just trace the outline of the paper. And this should only take me maybe seven or eight minutes and that's mostly because I'm explaining what I'm doing while I'm going. If I were just doing this without making a video to show you, I could do it in five. But I wanna show you how to do this because backyard chicken farming, uh, homesteading is so s simple. People complicate it. It doesn't have to be complicated. Even if your, your situation is not an emergency, you can make a, a hen laying box like this. Now guys, I wanna point out, when you're using box cutters or anything sharp, be very careful. We have two rules on our farm, uh, and this is the first one, hen-eye, hen-eye. That's Visayan, my wife's native language uh, of the Southern Philippines for slow down, take it easy, take your time. There's nothing on our homestead that we need to do that's worth getting hurt over. So when you're using sharp objects, don't rush it, okay? Okay, so guys, this material on this particular Tupperware container is a little tougher than I, than I realized. 
And again, I'm going back to that rule of henai henai. I'm kind of sawing through it with a seesaw motion. I could probably go in the shed and maybe get some sort of saw or some other cutting tool. But uh, this is going to work. Just if you're doing this, make sure you're not going to jerk it hard and cut yourself, okay? Always be safe. Okay, guys, so here's our door. Cut it out. And here's our lid. Now from here, um, we're going to want to put hay in here because we want it to be comfortable, right? And we cut our own hay with a uh, scythe. We made videos of that. So we're going to line the box with hay. Okay, so she can go in there and lay her eggs. Now, I'm going to show you a little extra. Okay, you put the top back on and really that's all there is to it. You get a $99 tub, cut the door out, three-fourths of the width of paper, put some hay in there, it's ready to go. But here's the extra I'm going to show you. Uh, I have this thing I call Hillbilly Ingenuity. We have a second rule on our homestead. First rule is henai henai. Slow and easy, take your time. Nothing uh, worth doing here is worth getting hurt over. Our second rule is do it right, do it once. Okay, I know it rains and where um, our chickens stay, uh, it's on a bit of a downward slope and it butts up against the edge of our out, outdoor um, detached garage and water can build up there. So what I'm gonna do, this is a really funky board that my neighbor who builds airplanes and other cool stuff gave us. And I knew instinctively I would be able to use this for something at some point, but I didn't know what, but it hit me today when I came up with the idea that I needed to do this. So there's all these little pieces of wood glued on here that's gonna allow this board to set a couple of inches above the surface level. I'm going to put this on top of this, before, you know, when I put it in, the, in their pen. But now here's the deal. This is gonna be flimsy and bounce around and she's not gonna feel secure. So I need to make sure to secure this to the board. You can use a drill and use um, screws and washers and, and drill it down. That's one way to do it. But when I was walking through my shed this morning, looking for stuff to make this with, I saw this inner tube from our son's bicycle that has a hole in it. We took it out to replace it. And I've said it a million times in our videos, reusing is a form of recycling. And we like to, I mean, if this went to a landfill, it would sit in there for 10,000 million years until the next ice age. I finally have a use for it. Now, I wanna point out, we're not hoarders. I do not hoard, okay? But here's what I'm gonna use this for. You remember the old, I call it Hillbilly Ingenuity. You remember the old Hank Williams Jr. song, Country Boy Can Survive? We can run a, we can skin a buck, we can run a trot line and a country boy can survive. Well, a country boy can figure out 101,000 uses for a busted inner tube tire too. And what I'm gonna do is use this to secure this base platform to my new chicken egg lane box that I built for less than a dollar about five minutes of my time and five minutes of your time I'll put this on here like that I'm gonna move it down to where it's not blocking her door try to get it right there in the center which I've done position that in the center and now look it's stable on the board it's not shifting so we're gonna put this in the hen house or in our chicken pen in the exact spot where she's been laying on the ground. She's outside feeding now. When she goes back in there, she's gonna go in there and investigate and walk right into this box. And now she's got a safe place to lay her eggs, to sit on her eggs and hopefully hatch her eggs. And we built this sucker in about five minutes and we've got about, well, we got 99 cents in this. This was old, used and busted and this was donated by a neighbor. So it cost us a dollar and five minutes worth of our time. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off The Grid and we'll be back with more next time.